a lovely afternoon to you guys i hope you're doing well it's shikondobu here and welcome to my channel again again thank you for joining me thank you for being here thank you for all your love thank you for the time i will never get tired of that and i never want to forget to not say that because i want you to know that you're highly appreciated i i am so grateful that you're actually here and i never ever want to take it for granted so thank you for the new service welcome so much here i pray that you're going to be blessed through this channel and learn and to grow together and for the returnees karibuni sana thank you so much my guys god bless you so much and i'm excited about this channel and i'm excited that we keep learning and growing together and in that regards i would like to talk about our last video <laughs> from last week i know it might have sounded a bit salty to some people but it's because we are learning together and you know learning is not always easy but where there's learning there's growth if you you know even the bible says we should have a teachable spirit so if we don't want to learn then we don't grow but if you are open to learning we grow more and i know that's what we want in our lives you know to grow more and learn more grow more then learn more like that you know and become a better person than you were yesterday or the last minute all right guys so yeah yeah, yeah. so karibuni sana to this video so uh one of the things i would like to talk about in this uh kind of talk we are having right now is if you remember from the last video i said i was going to be very honest and real with you guys about me about my journey about my weight loss journey and i am ready to restart it um for those who know me i in from uh, february of this year i started being be, being very consistent about my journey and i worked out consistently for three months every single day except for sunday and it was beautiful it was hard in the beginning as you see in some of the pictures here but continue to say becoming easy and so then come april i had a trip uh that and you know guys it's so hard to work out when like you're away from your comfort zone and like where you used to and i didn't have my trainer with me and we had to do it through the phone oh, and guys honestly it wasn't easy to do that it was hard for me to work out when i was away so when i came back and tried to restart and it was just sad so kind of it just went down the drain and I, I was still being careful with what i was eating but now i wasn't working out and for me my issue is not food i can eat salads every day i can do smoothies every day but my issue is working out so the moment that was broken it was so hard getting back and then i kept trying and then by the time i wanted to get back i felt sick and one of the things i was asked is if i was working out i said yeah and they were like please don't overdo it and so i kind of i didn't use it as an excuse but i was scared to get what i got during that time so but then now i am ready ready to get back ready to start and it's baby steps i don't want to kill myself because by the time i stopped i was doing like 800 skips and I'll, after that then i'll work up for like an hour or an hour and a half for like five days <laughs> in a week every morning so i don't want to like overstrain myself i can't of course i can't start from there because we may be uh oh yeah and during that time i actually lost like eight kitchies which thank god thank god thank 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 god i have not came back so um i want to continue from that and as i said i'm going to keep it real so the last time i checked my weight was 88 uh and i need to check it right before i get started i'll let you guys know but that time when i had started working out i was actually 95 so i actually lost i did lose is it seven or eight kgs seven kgs no i lost eight kgs so i was 87 so i uh, want to restart with those who know me i'm five one i'm not very tall and that's not okay and my bmi was not fine so now i want to restart again but as i said it's a journey and i do not want to do something that will make me gain back the weight i don't want to do that i want to keep it off and i was listening to coach roseanne roseanne and that's how you say her name and also nutrition by by Tanya. I love what they do because they teach you ways that you can actually make it a lifestyle. Fontenya is 
portion control like when you're eating you know like eat this much or something you know like she shows you how to eat and you're capable of doing that so she doesn't say like don't eat cake don't eat chapo don't eat what no but anasema eat a small slice eat kidogo starch eat a, a lot of proteins or a lot of veggies or what she teaches you how to do it check her up on ig i'll try to and her handle here and also coach rosan it's the same thing she balances working out and also like meals she teaches you how to like keep the weight off she's kept off her weight for a while so and that is what i want i i don't want to do keto i don't want to do if i don't and i'm sorry to the guys who are doing this i'm not trying to like brush you guys off and probably it works for you but for me i feel like yes i can actually do it but then i'll money those things and then i'll go eat them and then i'll gain the weight back i don't want that i want to be able to actually practice portion control and actually for me because i don't have an issue with food then for me that's not so hard for me it's the working out part <laughs> and this is what we are going to do i am going to be accountable to you guys in my youtube farm and we'll be doing also weigh-ins <laughs> like monthly so that i can actually get to where i want to be because i don't want to strain myself and weigh every week that's crazy no no it stresses you out and all you think about is the kilos so i want to do it like every month and also i want to uh ensure that uh i i document my meals so i'll be showing you guys that so the video that goes up on sunday will actually show my working out um what routines and the meals i'm starting with okay and i will tell you guys my exact weight and my height is 5 and it hasn't changed but i think my weight is still at 87 i don't think it has changed but i weigh myself so that we are sure we are sure where we are starting i don't want to say 87 and maybe i've gained i love i come here i'm like oh my god you guys i weigh 89 and you're like oh my gosh you guys you've gained and probably i lost some kilos but because i as i was using the weight i assumed i am still at in like august you know and doing october no 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 so i'm going to weigh myself and actually give you the the, my weight and my height and my current bmi as we start which will be on the next video so i want to talk about that so if you're interested to join me on this weight journey please make sure you 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 get your weight and make sure you know your height because you'll calculate our bmis and then we'll do our meals and if you guys are interested we can actually do our WhatsApp group i'm still in contact with my trainer and we can see like how to do it if you're serious about it if you want to lose some pounds so just dm me text me or comment and let me know so we can do this together okay guys because i'm so serious i do i have something coming up and i want to look smudged and i'm going to and i'm not even doing for that only it's because i'm restarting my weight journey once again so uh yeah and as i said it's a journey sometimes you give up lakini the issue is ukika uko chini na ukate kwa mka but ukiamka unajifuta vumbi alafu unaendelea si ndio tuendelea alafu tutafika tu tutafika tu baby steps you get there and you know no pressure i remember i was arguing with my husband's like yeah i can work out like a whole week and then he was like so how many uh, push ups can you do i was like mm, i can i can do like 20 oh my god i couldn't even do like five and i used to do 60. that's how bad it is i used to do 60 or 90. uh like you know in sets but then i would do like maybe 20 20 20 or like 30 30 30. <laughs> i couldn't do even five so we are going to do it we are restarting we are restarting we are restarting 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 i'm not giving up and i had not given up i had not given up i had just paused but now we are doing this again we are continuing and the most important thing is actually actually allowing the holy spirit to walk with me through this so this time as i start i'm not going to be using a trainer because this is why i realize when you're dependent on a trainer then they're not there then you don't do it i don't want that i want to actually attain that discipline by myself that i can even work out when they're not there and then once i see that i'm actually consistent even with tra when i've traveled or when i'm not home i'm actually consistent then then i will think of doing a trainer again because i already know exactly what to do i already know about nutrition i'm fine i'm okay so for now yeah i don't have that because i 
had one and when he wasn't there I didn't do it so I don't want that I want to be this way and I'm actually my personal trainer now is the Holy Spirit the Spirit to make sure I am disciplined and I'm doing this so yeah guys <laughs> so let's do do this so anyway this part of the video that's what I want to talk about and guys let's do this together okay guys thank you good morning guys how are you doing a wonderful morning to you so it's 8 25 a.m in the morning and i've decided to rush to the store because i do need some supplies for a cake that's supposed to go out tomorrow as you all know i'm a home baker so i came to get some stuff from the store and i love coming to the store in the morning and i remember like when we used to live in california we used to do that a lot either early in the morning or like late at night because then it's not really crowded parking are available the parking you know the it's not full and another thing is uh for me i feel like mornings or like late at night like the air is so fresh so crisp uh, so unpolluted like so good so anyway i'll turn my um phone around and show you guys like how it looks like outside oh it looks so nice okay let's go get some stuff with me guys and i'm gonna show you bits and parts of it i guess all right guys uh yeah let's go let's go let's go let's go so if you've never tried like early morning shopping please try it try it it's really nice mm. and also yeah mombasa there's less traffic because i'm going against the traffic so there was no traffic <laughs> not traffic no traffic okay yeah enough <laughs> okay guys let's do this so look guys the way i told you let me turn the camera around disadvantage of this is that lots of stores are not open at this time so it's only because I knew the stores I was going to, they're already open. So if they aren't open, morning shopping won't work. But um, once it hits 10 a.m., a lot of them are open. So hmm. no queues also. Good. Hi guys, I'm done. It's time to head home. Ah, I'm really hungry. Uh, but grateful that I've done this so I just need to go grab eggs because I buy them from a particular place or the store and then go home and get some breakfast because I am hungry yeah yeah and we thank God for this economy oh lord anyway our source is God that's how we should put it and depend on him Okay guys, let's go. Remember when I said I had a plug? Yeah, yeah. See this? This one right here. This is shea butter. It's in its raw form, hapa. Iko raw, like you know, hayabuswa from Ghana. Uh, shea butter has very wonderful benefits. I'm going to attach them on the screen so you guys can see. This is the pure version of it. 
and then I have this. This is whipped. I whipped it. See that? Mm -hmm. I whipped it and then I put it in a container. Uh, and I am your plug. I am your plug. So if you are in need of raw shea butter, I have it here. If you are in need of the whipped version, I have it here. If you are in need of one that it's probably scented because you can add different oils you can add like coconut oil you can add your essential oils to help with you know the smell i am your plug she condom is your plug so i have this one it's from ghana yes ghana hakuna middlemen it came directly so iko sawa iko pure you can trust me and uh, it's very good my son and i have eczema and we use it and it's amazing it's also amazing for your skin it's really really good see it's really good. I don't know if you can. You come on. Oh, nah. I don't know. Okay, there's too much light, but guys, shea butter is amazing. If you don't know about shea butter, I'll attach here so you can sum about it. So, yeah, here it is. And Shiko is your plug. And if you want it whipped like this, the difference is basically when you whip, it's easy to pack in a kwa, in a kwa soft. Yani, ukichukwa tu kipaka kusugui sana. In a kwa very light, you can use it kwa skag, kwa nyuele, kwa ngozi. It's amazing. Actually, even some people cook with it. Alafu ikiwa hivi, iko ngumu kidogo, lakini since this is Mombasa, so na iko sawa. Lakini I'm sure for people in like Nairobi or wherever, it might be a bit ngumu to use that. But you can get the whipped version. It's the same thing. All you do is melt it and then now you whip it. And then get the texture that you want and it's more creamy and it's amazing and then of course when you whip it you get more product so if you want it in raw or whipped version let me know thank you guys for watching this video thank you thank you thank you i hope you've enjoyed the vlogs i hope you enjoyed the sit downs and i hope you guys are going to join me as you get fit you know as we do this together <laughs> anyway yeah i love singing Cancel that. And I'm not going to edit it. Edit it out. Edit it out. Edit it out. Edit it out. Like a tongue twister. Anyway, anyway, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Guys, please, 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 when you watch, when you watch, like the video. And please do me a favor. Please share with at least one person. Let's grow this channel. Tell one person. About Shikondombo. Let them join. Let them subscribe. So please remember to like, remember to share, remember to subscribe, remember to comment. Please, please, please. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for everything. God bless you guys and do have yourselves a wonderful day, a wonderful night. Based on where you're watching us from, and know that Shikondombo appreciates you and loves you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.